Yeah, my name is Raymond Ludwama. I am uh, a chartered accountant by profession and I am the CEO of Disky99, a not-for-profit organization that uses sport to educate young people from townships and uh, to provide work opportunities for them. So the work that we do at Disky99 um, has impacted the communities that we work in uh, in a number of ways. So I think firstly, we provide a safe space for kids to play and to express themselves. Because what we've seen happening in our communities is that there aren't enough platforms or spaces where young people can go out and be active. So I think that's the first thing is that we've created these spaces, young people after school and during school holidays, they participate in our programs. Then secondly, um, we've also identified that there's a lot of young people who are unemployed and when they're looking for work, they need to have some experience. So we've created a program where they volunteer um, and they help us in executing our programs and so that they get these work uh, the work experience and the references. And then lastly, we've helped them earn an income um, because these young people then, we place them at FNB Stadium, we place them at uh, Lofter Stadium during big sporting events, music concerts and so on and they work there and they earn an income and they get to understand the business of sports. I think the inspiration to start Disky 99 was um, living in our community. So I, you know, I'm from Soweto and uh, seeing that there's this general feeling that a lot of young people don't have anything to do. And so you wake up and you see young people sitting doing absolutely nothing and then you realize that wait this is a problem because an idle mind is going to end up abusing substances abusing drugs falling into uh, you know bad behavior being involved in crime so the inspiration was really to say we can sit back and complain and look from the outside and say yeah there are these problems or we can actually do something. So myself and my co-founder, Pierre Lowe, we decided, you know what, we're going to do something. We're going to start this organization and uh, we're going to use a language that young people understand, which is sport, and we're going to bring them together and we're going to solve our own problems from our own community. So since uh, being involved with Disky 99, um, I met a young man by the name of Fezi Lechope. He is uh, 20 years old now when I met him he was 15 uh, when I met him in 2015 he was 15 years old and Fezile um, loves football and um, he's a referee so he came to our program he was a referee and we've been working with Fezile over the years and he really has a, an, an amazing story because he's a cancer survivor he had throat cancer when he was 12 and now Fezile is the youngest professional soccer referee in the country so I think the CA qualification has really helped um, make Disky 99 sustainable because um, I can look at the organization with a business lens and I can look at the organization and say who are our customers because you know our customers are parents, they are you know the, the community as a, as a whole and then understand our beneficiaries, who are our beneficiaries because there's a difference between beneficiaries and customers. Um, and also just apply basic governance, you know, making sure that we've got financial statements, making sure that we account for all the funding that we have, for every cent that we have, because that is what makes the organization sustainable when you are presenting it to someone else. Uh, people want to invest and work with a, an organization where they know that the money is going to go to the right cause. And so my CA qualification allows me to apply this accounting lens, but also to apply a business lens and say, well, we need to grow this organization. How do we grow it? So the support that we require as an organization is um, financial support. Uh, we also require uh, soccer kits and netball kits. Uh, we require time from people who would like to volunteer and share their expertise. Um, and. I think the most important thing is that our programs, because we're working with young people, 
and most of these young people come from environments where maybe they have not eaten. So meals and nutrition, I think that has actually been the biggest uh, challenge that we've had in our program is to, is to provide food to, to, to our kids and to our participants. So if you'd like to contribute any of these, we are available on Twitter, uh, Disky underscore 99, Facebook, Disky 99, and uh, our website, www.disky99.co.za. And the motto that I live by is, um, is from uh, a, a quote from Theodore Roosevelt, um, who said that it's not the critic who counts. You know, um, the credit belongs to the man or the woman in the arena. Um, so for me, it's always important that I don't sit on the sidelines and criticize and become a fan and a spectator. But I have to be inside and, and face the challenges and solve my own problems and solve the problems of my, my own community. So I don't get it right all the time. There's a lot of mistakes, but within the mistakes and within the failures, I'm quite comfortable with going to bed at night because I know I'm not the critic and I'm in the arena.